Hi everyone, so right now I am in the car with my mom and Val and we are about to go to get my first tattoo and I'm very nervous but I'm also super excited. Um, I'm getting my Nona's birth date in my grandmother's handwriting so and it'll be on the, the outside of my left forearm so Val's gonna vlog it to see like how I react and stuff because I feel like I'm a baby and I feel like I'm gonna cry or like tell them to stop every five minutes so hopefully everything goes hopefully okay hopefully we don't, we don't <laughs> leave by <like>, tomorrow morning <laughs> so yeah I'm super excited and here is my first tattoo journey Yeah, but you said, I don't know, I feel like I'm a baby. I feel like I'm a baby. She just got her first one. How is it? Where are you getting it? Well, I don't, okay, I don't know. I was I was planning here, but then they're saying here. So I don't know. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Wait, seriously? That's it. See? It's so serious. Too. I just... You look so Taylor. Because I'm so shook. Sure. probably going to get a few more now. See? So what do you think? Is it painful? There, it has to be worse than this. I really feel like it. What? That there's going to be a harder part? Well, you should hit the sweet spot. I really feel like this is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move down. <laughs> cool grandma handwriting. Right? Thank you. I dig it. Are you recording that so she hears no, that? No, I'm not telling her that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, where is so, grandma? Where is 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 grandma? Explain exactly how it feels now. It feels really, like honestly, I can't even describe it as a pinch. Her pinch in the car hurt more. <laughs> it really did. Remember how I was saying the needle thing? Remember how I said you took a sewing needle and just keep picking yourself up there? So it's, would you say that was about average? Yeah. It's like really it light. Really it's probably like a dull no, like sewing really needle. Hurt. She's already almost done. What does she have to do now for to like not get infected and stuff? It's, I always tell people it's very similar to like when you fall and scrape your knee. Mm -hmm. The big thing is just cleanliness. Yeah. Keeping it clean, washing it. You don't want to scratch or pick at it. Yeah. That can pull ink up out of the tattoo. But other than that, something especially as simple as this is going to heal up pretty fast <laughs> if you take care of it. One of my best friends a few years ago got a tattoo similar to this. Just a very small tattoo. And she's like, she did hair. And I told her, I'm like, don't go into work after this. You can't be dipping it in those chemicals. Oh, yeah. And she ignored me, went to work, dyed somebody's hair. Oh, my God. Then went to a bachelorette party and threw up on it. Oh, my God. And so she ends up with a major infection in the emergency room, almost loses her hand. And the doctor is yelling at her, who did this to you? Who tattooed you? And she's like, don't worry, I didn't tell him that you tattooed me. I was like, you bitch. Yeah, oh my god, because it's really like, okay, how stupid are you? Yeah. Okay, so she got her tattoo. Yep, that was crazy Erica. Yeah. <laughs> Erica, Fran, and you know him, don't you? You know who So you're basically done, are you? I think that's the most it's hurt the entire time. Wipe it and scrub most of that purple off so I can make sure everything's in there nice and solid, but we're pretty much done. 
Okay. I'm very proud of you. I am too. I'm proud of myself. It took about nine minutes. I want a taco after this. You want what? I want tacos. I'm just gonna really good. two little spots just because I'm a picky person. I'd rather you be picky. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna be on me forever. I need picky. I need to find a better way to say that to people. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. No, yeah. So in the shower or at the sink, wash your hands, wash okay. the tattoo. And I can't, I shouldn't use a loofah on it, I should no. use hands. No, um, just clean hands. For, until it's healed, you don't want to use loofahs, rags, towels, bathrobes, because okay. all of those harbor bacteria. So clean hands, paper towels are the best way okay. to clean it. Perfect. Now that being said, if you like rub it on your shirt by mistake, you're not going to die. <laughs> right. But um, don't be afraid to wash it either. Right. Um, something as fine line and as small as this, on average, heals up in about a week or less. Okay. Um, so, you're going to want to wash the tattoo morning and night or as needed, you know, if you brush up against something, um, for the first three days. After that, you'll notice it may start to get, become ashy, flake, or peel. Okay. That's completely normal. It's part of the healing process. You kind of schluff off a layer of skin and then it heals eventually. When that happens, you can switch over to a water-based, non-scented lotion. I feel like Lubriderm is a classic. Um, just something Take without... Take a picture of that just so that I remember. <laughs> I know Lubriderm. And you can get like a little travel size. You don't okay. need a lot. Okay. I usually prefer to buy a new bottle and not use something that's been sitting because it, it, once it gets air in it, it can trap bacteria. Okay. Um, so a small travel size from the drugstore. Um, so one to two times a day with lotion is sufficient. You don't have to saturate the tattoo just enough to minimize the dryness and the itching. Okay. Um, average heal time is two to three weeks, but like I said, this may be done in four days. Okay. Cool. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, and obviously you can call if you have questions. Are you recording? Yeah, it's been recording. Okay, so I, I'm done. 10 out of 10. Didn't hurt. I'd say probably a 5 out of 10, if that. $100. Bert Tiger, Annie, if you live in Chicago. Right? Right, bye.